Hello, what's that college football guy here with another video. I'm sorry, everybody, for not recording yesterday, but uh, some of you may remember the video. I remember I mentioned it or not. I had a flat tire, the passenger side steer tire in the front of the truck. Uh, it took until 9 a.m. to come and get the thing fixed. Didn't get out of there until about 10.30. Uh, was way behind. Ended up going to Atlanta Yard to drop the trailer off. I was hooked to out of Cherokee, Alabama. Went from there. Was supposed to go to Jacksonville until they realized there's a hurricane coming through. So uh, that got scrapped. So last night, after they sat and dawdled for a while, I had to deliver in Murfreesboro. By the time I got done, it was about midnight. So two-tire recorder video. I apologize, everybody. So I'm going to do two today. First one is a story that just popped out. Tomorrow, the one that we going to do after this, it's going to be in a couple hours because I'm doing this right now. I'm in our yard in Louisville, Kentucky, just hooked up to another trailer to go to Indianapolis. But uh, this is going to be, I'm doing this quickly before I go, I'll do the one on the one later on is going to be about the Thursday and Friday games, about Thursday games, the schedule changes due to the hurricane, everything else that's going on. And please, everyone, if you're in the path this tour and I have this hurricane, please be safe and get safe. Please. It's nothing to play around with. Now, the title of the video, rumor, and that's exactly what this is, is a rumor about the Pac-12 and ESPN being 700 million apart. I don't have enough sources to where I could say that this is a full on deal. I have three, two or three. Well, technically, I technically say two because two of the ones I talked to had the same source material. It's a different person. So it's not two different sources, technically. Um, I look at it this way, folks. So I'm putting this down as a rumor. If I get more information, I'll say this is true. But right now it's going as a rumor. But the deal is, is this. ESPN offered, the offer they stand, they're not changing on it, is a five-year, $800 million contract with the Pac-12. Would you break that down? That's $160 million a year or $16 million a school. I don't know if that's tier one only or if that's everything. If that's everything, they're in desperate trouble. And based on what I've been hearing, I haven't heard anything to the contrary of it's everything. It's all the rights for $16 million. I could be very well be wrong. So are the sources. That all they got right now is it says that it's for everything. It could turn out to be wrong as the time I'm recording this. So, and remember, this is going into transmit on cell phone. By the time this thing gets downloaded, it could be a whole bunch of different information. I should say uploaded because I got to use my, right here, it's 4G here in Louisville. Um, but basically what we have here is ESPN's offered eight hundred million, and they're not budging. They also want a termination clause, which is if any school leaves the Pac-12 early, they have the right to terminate the deal immediately, without penalty. Needless to say, the Pac-12 doesn't want that. The Pac-12, according to sources, you know, rumor that they're asking for one point five million over five years, thirty million a school. According to this, we had from the previous one with the twenty-four and a half million, thirty million wasn't even enough to keep Washington and Oregon. The problem is, they're not going to get it. Now, we had the thing about, remember, remember back a little bit ago, where the Big Ten said that they were looking westward, possibly some Pac-12 schools, taking four more, we heard, allegedly, rumors, rumored innuendo. And then the Big Big 12, Brett Yormark announced the fact that we were negotiating our TV deal early. ESPN says that they haven't done that yet with them, but that doesn't mean Fox has. I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me on it. But both of them have put themselves on pause. They haven't done anything. Why should they? The Pac-12 is going to self-destruct. Because right now, if they only get offered $16 million a year, the Big 12 can say, the, Pac, the, the Big 10 can say, come on over, we got a lot more money. And also part of the thing I'm putting down there is Apple TV and the Big 10. According to rumor sources... Rumor sources sounds better, actually. According to rumor sources, that um, the Pac the Big Ten has been talking possibly with Apple TV about their late window rights and digital rights for certain other things. And that would be enough money to possibly, over an extended period, pay for four schools to come in and not affect the dollar value, counting all the other contracts that would go up. So they could bring in four, which would be Stanford, Oregon, Cal Washington. Now you think about the six that are left. 
16 million a year versus 30 plus million a year for the Big 12. You're making double. I'm out of here. I don't know about you. I'm gone. <laughs> Somebody offers me double my pay. That's 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 hard to turn down, folks. But that's also potentially what's could be happening. Rumored sources now. Everybody says the Pac-12. Oh, the Pac-12 can just merge with the Mountain West and it'll stay the Pac-12. I'm like, you understand the fact that if eight of the schools leave, it's done. If the four corner schools go to the Big 12, the four go to the Pac Big 10 along with the UCLA and SC, that's 10. There is no more Pac-12. But if you're Washington State and Oregon State, financially you have to figure out a way to make up the money. But football-wise, you're not worried. It's like San Diego State, allegedly, according to the rumor, rebuffed offers to go to the Big 12. I'm like, why are you rebuffing offers to go to the Big 12? It makes absolutely no sense. You're going to stay for the chicken feed money in the Mountain West? I mean, I know the Mountain West since it was formed. I love the conference, but it's chicken feed money. That's the rumor going around there. One, I don't buy. I don't, I mean, why would you do that? You think the Big Ten's going to come get you? Uh, could that be the reason? I just thought about it. If the Big Ten even put a feeler out, I'd put the Big 12 on pause too, because 30 million, 100 million? <laughs> Which way would you go? I doubt they'd be interested in San Diego State at all, but then again, who knows anymore? But, if you're Washington State and Oregon State, yeah, money-wise, it's going to hurt. But, football wise remember it's six the top six conferences Washington State and Oregon State go to the Mountain West San Diego State doesn't leave Boise State doesn't leave you had a top flight conference and you'd be the best conference and most likely you'd be ranked because remember by the time the playoff happens Cincinnati Houston and UCF are gone from the American and the Mountain West would pick up Oregon State and Washington State, who are both borderline top top 35. Maybe the highest ranking conference, although the Sun Belt may have something to say about it. But could this be the move that caused it to happen? But like I said, all this is going to down here, and they're going to try to talk to digital rights going on there. Because for the Pac-12, I don't blame them exercising every single option they can because everything's better than the Pac-12 network because it's absolutely it's horrible. But... Could this really be the one thing that, as I put in the title, is the Pac-12 on life support? We might actually be here, folks. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Tell me what you think about all of this. Is this actually going to be the one thing that's going to cause it to happen? Is it going to actually happen? Are they still going to somehow survive? But if it's $16 million a year, I don't see how. I don't see any way how. But this is all alleged sources, rumors, and all that. So I'm saying that off the jump. So thank you everyone for watching this video. As always, please like, comment, share. It helps the analytics. It helps the video to be seen. It helps to get it to get reached out there. And please, if you like the video and like, check out some of the other videos I've got on the channel. If you like it, subscribe. I'd like to get this channel to go up to something bigger. Eventually we'll get to 200 eventually. Channel hasn't been around that long, folks. So... Hopefully we can become something great. I would love for that to happen. But thanks everyone for watching the video. As always, please like, like and comment, subscribe. And as always, please be good to each other.